Hey guys, today's video is about supplementing with formula when you are exclusively pumping. So a lot of people who exclusively pump or just even breast, like breastfeeding in general, um, notice that their babies aren't getting enough weight when they're born. So they usually are told by their doctors to supplement with some formula so that their baby can gain more weight. Um, so that could be one of the reasons why you need to supplement. Or another reason could be that you aren't pumping enough milk um, because you have a very low milk supply and in that case you would also need to supplement with formula. So I have tried different ways of supplementing with formula and I'm just going to share them with you um, with their pros and cons and just kind of um, just tell you how each of them went and what I guess which way works the best. So I have notes here so just bear with me as I am um, looking at the screen. So the first way option is that you can mix breast milk and formula together in one bottle. So the pros is that your baby is more likely to um, drink the formula because it tastes better. My baby hates formula and he loves the taste of breast milk obviously. So I always have a hard time giving him formula. So if your baby is like that, then mixing the breast milk with the formula is a good way to get your baby to drink it, rather than drinking just straight up formula. One of the cons that I noticed though was that if your baby doesn't finish all of the milk, that, or the bottle, then you are throwing out some breast milk because formula is only good for up to, it's good for in the fridge for up to 48 hours, but outside is only good for up to an hour and a half to two hours. And breast milk is good outside, not even in the fridge, for up to eight, like for eight to 12 hours. So you'll be wasting that precious breast milk, um, which isn't that good. So the second option um, was to start the baby with the breast milk bottle and then give them formula after that with whatever they like with um, whatever they don't have. So if I didn't, never had enough milk to give my baby, so I would feed him the breast milk first and then give him formula. So the thing I noticed with this one was that the good thing was that you're not wasting any breast milk because he's drinking it all. But the bad thing that I noticed was that. First of all, besides washing two bottles, um, like the a formula and the breast milk, you, um, you not only make more work for yourself, but if your baby hates the taste of formula, he might not want the formula if he's drinking the breast milk, um, because formula doesn't taste good. <laughs> so my baby hated when I did that to him. He would just keep spitting out the formula, and he would rather starve than you have to eat the formula after the breast milk, which was a problem because then your baby's not eating enough, and then they can be losing weight. So the third option was... Um, to decide either, like, to pick certain, like, feeds during the day that are going to be formula and then the ones that are going to be breast milk. So what I did was if I was going to be out of the house, those would be the breast milk feeds because breast milk can stay in the diaper bag for longer than formula can, unrefrigerated. And then when I was in the house, I would give them formula. So um, I, I would be pumping during the day and just keep adding it to the breast milk bottle and just save that and feed them formula. And then when it's breast milk time, then I would give them the breast milk. So this way I found my favorite because then he's, first of all, not wasting any breast milk. And he's not getting that taste of breast milk that he loves and then going to formula and then he's like, what is this? And he just spits it out. So if you start him off with formula, he will eat the formula and he will be okay with it. And then if you give him breast milk another time, he gets a whole meal of breast milk and he's loving his life because it tastes good and that way you're not wasting anything and everything is working out good. So I found this um, to work the best. Now, however, if your baby doesn't like the taste of formula, this option might not work for you either just because if you're giving him straight up formula, he still might not accept it. But um, my baby seems to do fine if I start with formula and just continue. But if I start with breast milk, then he didn't like it. So that's the best the way that I found was the best. Um, and that's about it. Those are just the different ways you can supplement with formula for your baby, just depending on your baby's needs. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if so, give me a thumbs up and subscribe below. Bye!